Hey folks, Dave the Not So Evil, Evil Viking 13 here. I'm back with Joel for another settlement tour. Hey friends. This one's going to be the Coastal Cottage Retreat. This is a place for Dave. I mean, <laughs> my, my heart's like racing right now. I'm like, what am I going to see? <laughs> oh, you're already looking. Look up, look up the cliffs, Joel. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> I was like, I was looking up to the right thinking like there's something up there. Maybe. Like I thought that was an actual settlement in the game. Oh gosh. This is a retreat for me, for General Dave, because <laughs> a lot of my upcoming settlements are going to be like military based or like infrastructure, so this is a place where I can get away from it all and still be safe. <laughs> As you can see, I got my hands on a, uh, a geck or some kind of trees from the institute or something. I've got my own uh, growing green trees there. <laughs> now before we get too deep, let's take a look at what this settlement looked like before I got my hands on it. Let's go back to the vanilla game so we can have something to compare it to. This is what Coastal Cottage looks like in the vanilla version of the game when you first discover it. Oh. Bombed out piece of crap. <laughs> oh, that's pretty small. That's really cool though. Yeah, it's a very it's a small build area. This is one of the hardest builds that people have suggested for the game just because there's so many like bits of the house that you can't remove. Huh. There's like a cave full of mire lurks. Just all these like chunks of houses that you have to um, to build around. It's cool though. It's it's really cool that they have a couple areas that are just kind of yeah odd. You know what I mean? Like not the same. Here's a flat piece of ground. Yeah, it's just an absolute pain to like try to figure out like how are you gonna build anything? It's all you know sloping downhill. <laughs> Lots of We're cool gonna find out. <laughs> There is an answer though. How you build here is with console commands. You place every single piece one by one, just wherever you can find a white spot that'll let you. There we go. And then you just go into the console and you start adjusting. Wait, what? Da, 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 <laughs> no <da>, way! <laughs> oh my gosh, Dave! No, dude, you're making this, you're making this harder somehow. This is basically just level design in Fallout now. Uh, what? <laughs> no, Dave! Why do you do this? And oh just, my gosh! Just so you know, Joel, I would say that um, <laughs> around 60% of the objects in this settlement were placed like that. Place it somewhere else, <laughs> then scoot it over, rotate, adjust. So you have all the numbers and everything, like, like you know exactly what each command does right now. Yeah, yeah. Like my heart. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so that's the bombed out base settlement. But this is Dave's retreat. <laughs> oh my gosh. General Dave? <laughs> General Dave's retreat. <laughs> <laughs> Fear my power. <laughs> so this is what people see if they approach my settlement from the outside. Now, not everyone can visit. Only my most trusted Minutemen are my guards and my, uh, my <laughs> Do you workers. have any most trusted people, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> the background checks know all. If visitors come, this is where they would uh, arrive at. Notice the radio where they can call up and request access. Only to be told no. You got your Minutemen statue for inspiration. Oh my gosh. And you get your rocket turret. There's laser turrets. There's shotgun turrets. That's an explosive machine gun turret. <laughs> knock, knock. Now, of course, I'm the general. They know it's me. Let's go ahead and open her up. It's opening now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You had to wait for all the all the bolts to open up. So let's walk in. Amount of energy wasted just to open that door for Dave. <laughs> I'm the general. I deserve this energy. <laughs> this is Dave's coastal cottage retreat. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. This is just a nice place for me to uh, unwind a bit and be completely and totally protected. <laughs> <laughs> Notice the radiation scanner as you come in. Yeah. Just in case one of my uh, Minutemen hit some rads on the way up here. So I'm going to go up here to the front porch first. And I actually left most of the front porch almost exactly the same. I liked how it looks just kind of apocalyptic. So the fire barrel still here, the uh, the leaves, the debris, and the chair. It's like that old-fashioned look. Yeah, that's cool. But on the inside, it has been completely rebuilt and is clean. 
Ready for living. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, I mean, the TV is only playing old replays of the last broadcast, you know, before the nukes fell, but... Hey, it's still television in the apocalypse, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, this is the uh, bar area here where you can get some drinks and whatnot. Like they have that little towels for you, for, for your stay. Yeah, towels for your clean stay. And ready. <laughs> well, and to clean the, the bar. You gotta keep oh, the bar, yeah, the bar clean. You got your uh, photos and the telephone to nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. I built a fireplace. Oh, that's awesome. Nice little hearth going on. Very, very cozy. The idea is that this is just a very, very nice place for me to stay. <laughs> As opposed to the other places that are not very nice <laughs> places to stay. Right. <laughs> but Joel... This isn't just a coastal cottage retreat. <laughs> this is a coastal cottage safe house. <laughs> Looks pretty normal, right? Yeah. Pretty, I mean, nice. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What happens if the walls are breached, Joel? What if the gunners attack and I have to signal for help and have to hide somewhere while they <laughs> Good while thing they help you hired you to build this place. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have my own fallout shelter. A panic bunker, if you will. <laughs> so that door wasn't enough. <laughs> Let me just... Uh, activate the hidden door what <laughs> <laughs> and yes. then unlock the fallout shelter oh my gosh which requires turning the ui back on you, you, how did you do this console commands to lock the door <laughs> that's it <laughs> and i also have to deactivate the laser otherwise i will get hit with the tesla coil so i'm just going to <laughs> disarm the tesla coil and then we can turn the laser off, the tripwire. <laughs> this is my fallout shelter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it has everything that I need to survive for weeks Dude, until this, help arrives. This is insane. <laughs> is this that little cave that we saw earlier? In this the is the Meyer Lurk crater under the house. I removed the truck and rebuilt it into a fallout shelter. I can't imagine like how hard this was to actually place all of these, Dave. Every single one, I placed them above ground and then maneuvered them down using console commands bit wait, by wait, bit. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Like, through the ground? Yeah, through the ground. <laughs> then I, like, but how, how would you do that? I'm like, how is, where's your camera located? Oh, I lost some objects in between the ground. <laughs> There's something, like, out there probably still in the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, like, essentially place it above, lower it down until I could see it, and then place it from there. Like, by standing out the outside of the cave? Yeah, place it above, then go inside the cave, lower it down so I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my food supplies here, uh, electricity, medical supplies, <laughs> guns, ammo, alcohol, my Fallout Shelter sign. I've I got love the Nuka Cola. Oh, the hazmat suit. That's hazmat great. Hazmat suit. Nice touch. Some warm clothes, some ammo right next to the bed, my tea, my candles in case the power goes out. I was curious because I was like, did you have something to heat it with? A little stove, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I can heat did. up my, uh, <laughs> my cans of food, of course. <laughs> I've got a safe hidden underneath the, uh, the bed here, and actually... I, unless someone stole it, yeah, I've got some extra grenades and ammo and rifles hidden in the safe, along with my important documents. Machine gun propped up next to the uh, <laughs> the corner there. Ventilation system. That's the outtake. There's actually an intake, too. I was just saying, like, is there an intake? <laughs> hidden up here in the storage area. And there's actually a glitch where I was running the electricity for down here. A wire sparked, and then wouldn't stop sparking, even after I deleted it. I kind of like the effect, like a sparking something underneath the floor. <laughs> But we've got some uh, some storage, extra clothes, food supplies. That's the intake. I can monitor the electricity, and of course the radio to call for help. It's connected to all the antennas and the rest of the radios in the compound. Oh my gosh! Plumbing, sink, bucket, just in case <laughs> the plumbing goes out. <laughs> Pistol, <laughs> rifle. Everything's so neatly organized. <laughs> Every single one of those props had to be placed, like, it would, like, glitch up into the dirt, and I would have to lower it down with the console command, like, like, doop, 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 doop. <laughs> <laughs> and I enjoyed every okay. second of it. I, I, I noticed something really interesting about this here, Dave. Okay. Is, you know how you kind of make some areas a little bit messy to just kind of feel really more at home, you know? Yeah. I like that you actually made this one really neat, because uh -huh. if you had a... Fallout shelter, it would be really neat because it wouldn't be like it wouldn't be worn in because it's yeah, you know what I mean? Like you're not yeah. using it. It's a safety, it's all ready to be used. <laughs> <laughs> I have my extra clothes here, extra bowl, clean supplies, toolbox, my bathrobe, <laughs> toothpaste. <laughs> I'm in back I in didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and all those containers like would essentially have food and food and, and clothes and water and, and whatnot. 
and then there's a switch. <laughs> the emergency, I like you have the emergency kit like right near the laser thing in case you step into that. Yeah, and just <laughs> you for fall, fun. grab the medical <laughs> kit. Just for fun, I'll show you how that works. Let me, uh, let's turn the laser back on first. It's actually pretty hard to notice the laser in most cases because you're like, you're trying to like look down at the, uh, at the stuff down there. <laughs> so if you weren't going to actually notice it when you came in the door, I think that should be armed now. And you set off the tripwire, it charges, and then oh, goes nice. crazy. <laughs> it's actually trying to get her through the wall. <laughs> She's like, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo, doing my stuff. I don't get paid enough for this. That's my panic room. <laughs> That's amazing. How crap did you... I don't even want to know. It's just, just how we'll I do. We'll just move on. It's just how I do. So we'll finish the tour <laughs> I was here. Not expecting that. <laughs> and uh, let's take a quick look just from the outside before we go into the rest of the house, so you can see. This house was built piece by piece on the foundations of the old house. And one of my minute men is stuck on the roof. Let's just fix that real quick. <laughs> Come down from there. <laughs> Probably <I> hope. <laughs> no, she's stuck <laughs> on the tree. <laughs> Woo! Okay, there we go. Now she should resume her patrols. <laughs> the uh, Because this is so dense, the pathfinding freaks out so easily. But every single one of these pieces was hand positioned to essentially rebuild the old house into a multi-story loft for me. <laughs> this is my retreat. This is my little piece of Eden, if you will, in the apocalypse. Let's, Golly. Let's go on back in and uh, check out what's upstairs and the rest of the first floor. Back here to the left, we have the kitchen, which has a full chimney and cooking area. This is uh, enough food and prep area for, I think it's, I have 15 settlers here, guards and Minutemen. So it's, uh... Do you take that into account for thinking how many people you have in your town that you're like, okay, yeah. this kitchen needs to be decent enough to... Yeah, this is not as big as, like, the kitchen was for Croup Manor. Yeah, it's not yeah, a hotel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, this is plenty to prepare food for 15 people. And just in case you need some more cook space or, you know... You're wanting something a little bit different. We've got a grill out here in the back deck. There are water supply right there as well. In case you want to, you know, have a grill night. <laughs> the little light too, outdoor light. Yeah, you, you placed that right. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you remember, Joel, this was a literal crater. Yeah. Before <laughs> a hole in the ground. <laughs> and then this is the uh, the nicer downstairs bathroom, open for everybody, but uh, just real pleasant, nice, almost pre-war rug there. And sink, lights, and shower. And you can actually see bits of the old foundation that I use as a uh, framework for it to hold wow. it all together. And it, it also helps to disguise the false wall that hides the stairs to the panic room. That's awesome. So we're going to head on upstairs now past our very modern living room. You know, I just thought of one thing I realized. Can you not put fake books into the... Can you not put books in that uh, panic room thing? I was going to try it out, but I'm actually out of frame rate. For this, okay, this because I was like, I, I was like, that would make it more like, oh, you, you wouldn't be able to see it. Well, if you notice, all the shelves in here are very just clean and empty. Yeah. Like that one's empty, and the one back here is empty, just very organized and clean to match. So, yeah. it, so it kind of fits in. <laughs> um. This leads up to my quarters and my uh, my sleeping area, my armory, my meeting room. And just in case I get trapped upstairs during an attack, there's a security door that I can close <laughs> to seal the stairs. <laughs> so, so I can be safe upstairs, downstairs, it doesn't matter. Someone like sneezes wrong way at your place, <laughs> all the doors just go chunk, chunk, chunk. Who is this stairs here? This is uh, well, the guard place. for my area well, of the house. Uh, no one's allowed to come up here without an appointment or unless you're on duty. Got the umbrella stand, some handcuffs, some ammo, the typewriter, Mr. Washington's painting, of course, and this is the waiting area if you have an appointment. We got some reading materials and uh, a nice look out over the garden. And out here, I've got like a little patio going on. Huh? And this guy, I actually armed with a hardened sniper rifle. He can scope out anyone who might try to snipe in at the house over the wall, say from the expressway or the rocks <laughs> over there. He's always watching from the balcony. <laughs> always. <We're> always watching. Because <laughs> you lock that door. <laughs> you can't get out. Uh, and this is my personal bathroom here. It's very clean, very simple. No, this is like a nice little... Uh, wait, is that a candle? 
yeah. <laughs> yeah, just for extra light. <laughs> yeah, I think I have like a, another light in here somewhere. Um, but yeah, just a nice soft amount of light. It's my personal bathroom. And if we leave the waiting area and head left, we'll arrive at my office. What in the world? Underneath my loft. This is where what I can monitor crap? all the rest of my settlements and the wasteland, the commonwealth itself. Away from home, but actually still at home. <laughs> <laughs> this way I can tell if there's an attack brewing somewhere. If a settlement needs my help, here I'll mark it on your map. <laughs> um, You're that guy in the games that are like, here I'll mark it on your map. I'm like, how are you doing this? <laughs> That's how. <laughs> Preston uses my map system. <laughs> and this is my, uh, my personal desk and terminal here. Notice the rifle propped up behind the safe, just in case. I feel like I'm at your house. And that's uh, based off of the combat rifle from New Vegas. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's Can a, you actually get that one in the game? That's This is uh, a, this is a modded one, uh, but it's based off of the oh, one from it, New Vegas. Yeah. I got my communications radio here, a bit of uh, flags for decoration. And what's cool about the terminal here is I can actually use it to... Like, turn off the traps in the basement. How long I did it take to do all this part? What's cool is all you have to do is link it to your electric grid and all the connected stuff. Uh, okay. You can access it via my uh, terminal here. Okay. It's pretty sweet. I've got my some of my hollow tapes here, my watch, my master key, some notes, <laughs> probably, you know, promoting certain Minutemen. <laughs> <laughs> Getting rid of some others. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at me wrong. <laughs> Banned. <laughs> You're going back to sanctuary. <laughs> Get some bobbleheads, some more uh, power monitoring, and of course, now are those all the, are those the bobbleheads that you've collected in the game? Yeah, they're my actual bobbleheads. I uh, I have more at sanctuary. But this is just what I had on me at the time. Some extras. It's lock picking, luck, and sneak. I love the sneak one. I'm just so happy about that sneaking. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need to have the bobblehead on you to have that? The actual talent? No. Oh, cool. no. Once you pick it up, you're good to go. What I love about using these new walls that I got with uh, mods is the windows. Like, it's so cool to actually have windows and walls. There's no default walls that have any windows in them. Oh. Huh. And you can see all my nice green trees outside. And you I know, think, you know, for a second I was about to say, no, I think there are. And I was like, wait a second, Dave spent 800 hours <laughs> on this. Of course, he's going to know every single wall. Why am I even thinking this? Well, there's a reason for it. Like, glass is incredibly performance heavy because it doesn't uh, occlude things behind it. Got so it. you're rendering all this detail inside, all this micro detail, all the micro detail on the outside of the settlement, and then like <laughs> the rest of the commonwealth beyond <laughs> that. The glass is just ridiculous to render. So coming over here, we've got some uh, American flags, in our display case, some pleasant paintings. I got my conference room here for when That's really cool. For when my commanders come for a meeting, some weapons on display. <laughs> And, of course, some nice skylights going on there. Just some happy little lights. And this wouldn't be Dave's personal house without an armory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, guns on the wall, that's pretty... That's, that's good. Guns behind the safe leaning up, that's nice. But you gotta have a full-on armory. <laughs> oh, my God. With a steeled-in <laughs> rooftop. Oh, my goodness. So, we've got nuclear warheads in here. Some mini nukes. Got the mini gun on the wall. Some tools and whatnot for working. Plenty of ammo. And uh, these lockers are, of course, in my a, imagination, A nicer full of guns. general would have kept all that on the first floor to bring in the nuke. But <laughs> Dave's so rich, <laughs> you're going to put it on the second floor. <laughs> <laughs> Only the most trusted of my trusted How did you get the minigun up on there? There's a mod that adds display boards for weapons. Oh. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it pleases me. <laughs> yes, it does. And what was really cool about how this house design ended up with these very tall rooftops is this is the second floor, right? Yeah. I have my own personal loft to sleep in. Go up. You have a lot here. of personal places here. Well, this is my personal house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got my uh, little reading nook here, which overlooks the office. Get some light in the corner. I've got just a nice little loft here. Got my record player. Oh, that's uh, cool. Can I see the record player? Yeah. My own personal terminal up here, too. <laughs> Please stand by. Fire extinguisher, because there's so much electric in here. It's crazy. <laughs> the record player with like, oh, all the really cool. giant capacitors in there. And my little uh, reading nook right here. With the book. And some Coca-Cola. <laughs> yeah, my book. <laughs> and my bed with the foot locker. Uh, some 10 millimeter and an auto pistol. Just the last line of defense. And a nice skylight. 
So, I mean, bulletproof glass, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. But at night, I can look up and From enjoy. all the, uh, the Brotherhood of Steel helicopters <laughs> <laughs> flying yeah. above. I just have, like, caravans of just their... their <laughs> <laughs> all the parts from their crashed wrecks. <laughs> I can just look up at the stars at night. Man, this is a really nice place. Yeah, this is kind of like your cabin away from home. Yeah, yeah. It's or, my. It's or my I mean, it, I mean, it is. It is. Is this your main home? Like when you like, this is where I like live, and then you work at all the other places. I would say that I would still consider sanctuary my home, but this is definitely like where I retreat to. When I just want to yeah. get away from it all while still having my now, eye on is everything. Is this still the main character of the main game? <laughs> so you haven't rescued your son. <laughs> you build up the whole civilization. My people need me, Joel. <laughs> My, I mean, okay, I need me <laughs> to keep building. So we're going to head out back here. What we'll take a look at next is the officers' quarters, which overlook the main entrance. And you'll see them tending to the farm here. Got a Nuka Cola here. Some nice sitting areas out here in the deck. Some gardening supplies. And a uh, picnic table where you can enjoy an outdoor lunch. But protected behind the walls of my retreat up here in the northeast this is actually like it's actually way way out from everything else so huh. it's nice go up the stairs here this person so this is where my elite officers stay my most trusted guards they get the really nice quarters wow. when we came in the gate below they were looking down on us the entire time wow notice the uh, laser musket in the corner <laughs> And she has, I think, a, so uh, a sniper a rifle Eva. as that well. This is the other side of that radio where you can call up for access. Man. Nice plants and whatnot. This is the officer's quarters beds. They get small beds, but very, very <laughs> right, comfortable. Right near the open windows when it gets cold and snowing. <laughs> what did you call those, Joel? What? Did you call those open windows? Yeah, aren't they open windows? Oh, oh Joel. You think I would leave open windows just over my, <laughs> my officer's beds? Let's take a look in workshop mode real quick. Oh, wait, no, that's that's a glass wall that I inserted into the wall to close the <laughs> windows. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually, I, you just can, you can't see it or it's just so see-through? It, it's just very, very see-through. It's, it's very oh, hard okay. to tell. Let's see if I can... There it is. Now you can see it. <laughs> I sealed in the windows with glass. <laughs> it's the officer's quarters. Oh, my gosh. And of course, being the officer's quarters. Besides, I was having, I was willing to give that to you because it's yeah. like I mean, the game only has so so many ways you can do things. <laughs> this is what my FPS is twenty eight at times in here because <laughs> I not only built walls, I then built walls inside of walls, inside of walls, <laughs> windows inside of walls, <laughs> windows inside of windows. And being the officer's quarters, it's got the weapons lockers, but also the really nice decorations. The nice. I think it keeps it up, you know, really like you know, upper class. You know, they're, they're guards, but they're not ruthless. Exactly. They appreciate the finer things. In they're life. the elite, and yeah. their quarters show that. <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Washington. Got some candles lit with a nice vase. <laughs> and we have a really nice uh, sitting area here. <laughs> how, much, how much time, Dave? Look around. Look, look, at, uh -huh. look, at, look at Mr. George Washington. Uh -huh. How much time, did, after you created that, did you just sit here and like look at it like, hmm, just looking at your handiwork? <laughs> Well, there was a lot of time just nudging it like one pixel at a time to get everything lined up how I wanted it. But I come back here a few times just to enjoy the spectacle. It's your Wes Anderson photo right there. And then we've got the uh, the radio playing some classical music because this is a very classy area. The Minutemen flag flapping in the wind just outside in the nice city area. Goodness, I just I love how the sunlight streams in. It pleases me there too. <laughs> And more guards at this been window. Up to see Grey Garden. You should go. With uh, places, rocket launcher robots. ready to go as well. And another one of the uh, assault rifles in the corner. Some handcuffs, a locket, some you know personal items. We allow that. I'm guessing when things get rough, they just bust through the windows and then shoot down missiles. Oh, these windows actually, um, these are actually open. Oh, this side's open. This side's open. Yeah, you can just. Fire down all the hapless wastelanders out there. <laughs> Don't you wish you were in here? <laughs> That's awesome. So what we'll do is just duck out the back here. Got a little balcony that overlooks that main entrance in the garden area. And this actually goes right over to the men's restrooms. And to save on space, one of these stalls is actually a shower as well. Yeah, it's almost like a train. 
Yeah. Of trains too. Or like a uh, kind of like summer camp almost. Yeah. Go out the They're upper here. class, but not as upper class as you did. <laughs> well, you can also use the nice downstairs bathroom, just not my bathroom in the house. Yeah. <laughs> you got there, you're caught. <laughs> Of course, the entire settlement is completely encased in walls with barbed wire. Did you run the barbed wire on the top, or does that come with the walls? That's part of the walls, yeah. yeah. However, the doors are actually locked to keep my stupid settlers from opening them constantly. So you started modding that into it. The yeah, block. yeah. <laughs> I got tired of them leaving doors open. It's stupid. All these nice walls and the doors open? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Always got turrets watching everything. And... In some areas where like the rocks were built up and people could possibly do like a running jump as the, all the turrets shoot at them and try to jump the wall. No, no, no. Extra chain link fence on top. <laughs> it took a long time to get to the position. <laughs> at each corner. Just so I wouldn't catch you with that. Because I'd be like, I'm going to run and jump over. Okay, I, I'm going to hop over here because I actually. Did so you test so, it? So you, couldn't, so you couldn't try to catch me, Joel. I did jump <laughs> testing. <laughs> at every section of the wall to make sure that like there was no way you could jump over the wall. <laughs> I was just like, there's there's no way that I'm allowing this. I'm just gonna unlock it with the console command there. <laughs> there's, there's no way. Let me just seal that back up. <laughs> you actually tested it. That's great. Uh, um, in every corner. It's raptor proof. <laughs> no, I hope so. Oh, speaking of which, this is a very Deathclaw heavy area. Mm. So I actually had Deathclaws wander in like through one of the gates when I was building. <laughs> Thankfully, I had no turrets up that like, they got killed in the gates. But I was like, okay, let's actually lock those from now on. I have guard towers in all the corners. So not just the turrets watching everything, oh, but my guards always watching as well. <laughs> He's all business. <laughs> and you can see the, uh, the top of the entranceway there with some extra solar power. Oh, nice. Like, all of my settlements, I don't just have one power source. There's multiple power sources. Yeah. There's diesel, there's solar, there's fusion, there's nuclear. Oh, my gosh. Just in case of an attack, I don't want the power to fail and, like, the laser and the rocket turrets to go out. Speaking of which, rocket turret on top of the shed here. Oh, wow. And I was actually able to use console commands to fix the rooftop of the work shed here. This is my work area. Go in here. We've got areas where I can... Uh, Work on various weapons and components. <laughs> you put a magnifying Because <laughs> you're working with components. Like. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta yeah. see what you're doing. Actually, I love the detail on these uh, these models. It's pretty cool. Added some extra lighting. I've got my gun bench here. I've got my armor workbench. And I put a steel plate down so that the uh, you know fire wouldn't burn right through the platform. Gosh. And uh, this is my workshop itself. But... It's actually nice to actually have a rooftop in here again. And this takes us out to the back deck light. <laughs> the bell to gather my men. <laughs> and you can look down. Who left the door open this time, Joel? Good thing I have guards up top. Tisk, tisk, tisk. <laughs> a seal. <laughs> on the first That's an awesome entrance, Dave. Spin the wheel and goes like, chung 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 chung, and then it very slowly just swings open. I love how it opens. It's <laughs> mm. <laughs> awesome. Ooh, it closes really hard. <laughs> Watch your hands. <laughs> yeah. Watch your arm. Yeah. And on the first floor, we have some nice, but just kind of bare bones quarters for the rest of the men. Um, some of them eat some Pringles. Now, how many people do you have in your village? Or in your sorry, in your town? Uh, this one? Yeah. 15. Yeah. And so did you make beds for exactly that many people? Yes, like, 15 people. Like, because yeah. I honestly, I would just make beds. I would, I would be like, oh. Well, they, they actually complain. Oh, okay. I don't allow complaining. <laughs> <laughs> General Dave says, chin up, no complaining. <laughs> chin up, no complaining. <laughs> this took a while to get together right here, this side stairwell, because the elevations were just off. Like, this stairwell wasn't enough to go all the way down. But if you put it all the way down with like one of the long stairs, it would touch the wall. So I made a landing. I had to maneuver each one of these supporting poles and all the floor pieces into position one by one manually to create the landing for the stairs. But it worked. And now we have an actual like realistic looking staircase. That's really cool. And the washer and dryer for the settlement here in the corner, just out of the way. 
we can open this door and walk right over the entrance. You know what's so funny? Like, you even check to make sure all the doors open up and don't open up onto other things. No like, door clicking yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, like, it's no. funny. I've seen many bathrooms in act the actual main game. They open the door and it goes through, like, a toilet or something like that. No, you no, know? no. And to me, I'm like, it doesn't really bother me that much. But I'm like, but it's just... <laughs> it bothers me. <laughs> this is the, uh, the main women's bathroom. Kind of like the men's one that was just up on that uh, building to our right. A little shower nook there. Got stalls and whatnot. And the mats down. Happy Kitty painting. <laughs> Must wash hands before returning to work. By which, I mean guarding me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this opens up to like a little platform. Um, I had to kind of console command those to fit them in behind the... Uh, this piece right here, I couldn't get rid of. It's like part of the terrain. So I worked with it. And it's out of the way. I like it. You know, I mean, you probably could probably do some sort of coding thing to remove it, couldn't you? There's some mods that let you scrap things like the, the piles of leaves and things like that, but what I try to do for all my settlements, I do get this question a lot, so I'll just I'll go ahead and answer it for everyone. I try not to edit the base cell in the game in case Bethesda changes it, that could cause a crash. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll add to it, but I won't take away from it. Yeah, but I mean, it's also like, I mean, you spend so, so much time, it's not a big deal having leaves. Yeah. It's yeah. like, whatever. And then, uh, this is kind of cool, I have a mod that adds Minutemen patrols, and so this guy actually is just, uh, Minutemen, you see his epaulettes there, he's just like a Minutemen patrol in this area, and he tends to hang out inside of the compound. Yeah. That's cool, so random patrol. And up here, in front of my, oh, you can like see the lights glowing through the windows, <laughs> in front of my offices, I've got a sitting bench, some nice trees. So they can look up and inspire to be you. <laughs> they can look upon me <laughs> from below. <laughs> this is the uh, guards barracks. Oh, I was hoping it was going to be another torture chamber. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Red Rockets for. This is, uh, you know, it's a little bit cramped, but it's still very nice. Like, you have all the creature comforts. It, it's a barracks, but it's a, it's a very nice barracks. Nice plants, bits of uh, food oh, and snacks. Someone left the food out. How messy. <laughs> They're gonna get lashings. <laughs> That's how you get rad roaches, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'd be the person who'd be like, who did this? <laughs> like, ring the bell, everyone comes out, tell me. <laughs> I'm like holding the tray yeah, up. Like, who did like, this? From Hook, in the boo box. <laughs> <laughs> They're like cleaning my floor with a toothbrush. <laughs> um, Underneath my bathroom and the waiting area for my offices, I have my industrial reactors and all the control panels for them. I'll just close up that door, and this is that back deck oh, of my quarters. Cool. Look around here. This guy is always on duty watching the reactors. Like, that, huh? that's his job. Like, he's armored. <laughs> he likes Coke. <laughs> yeah, he, he does like his new Coca-Cola. I mean, <laughs> might have a problem, to be honest. But <laughs> Hey, but he's there all day long. It's, yeah, yeah. It's the equivalent of Mountain Dew, so he's got to... So this is uh, where all the electric... Like, this is the main source of the electric for the, the settlement. If we lost both of these generators, which there are two, you know, a lot of things would go down. But there's enough secondary sources where a lot of the turrets and all would still work. And uh, this is the back of the house here. You can see the old framework of the old house. And it opens right up into the living room. Oh, wow. And the bathroom here. My frame rate is eroding. Just hit 27. New low. <laughs> 26. Ooh. Yeah, this is the densest part. Like... Because all those details down in the terrain are like are all still there when you look Man. that direction. Um, and I'm kind of proud of this, Joel. Yeah. Speaking of the bunker, notice that it had the electric for all of that uh, stuff down there, like the lights, yeah. the traps, and whatnot. Where does that electric come from? You ever wonder that? <laughs> you don't want someone to be able to trace the electric lines and find the bunker, right? Huh. So this is where the electric comes out right here. It comes along this. Uh, these holes right here there it is and it goes throughout the trees and then down the wall that's how the power goes around the settlement but to get to the bunker if you notice there's one little wire just coming out of this like, little <laughs> tiny hole in the corner and you see this Joel it's a conduit just tucked right in the corner hidden by all the bushes and debris like you would never see that conduit you would how never you see do that, that? Uh, I, I built it first and then built everything else on top of it so that was I laid the electric first <laughs> 
<laughs> and if, if we go around here, let me go in the back door. Oh my god! You know, I thought of that earlier. I was like, I was like, I wonder if Dave has like, you know, like, cause I was like, oh, I could maybe just toss like a smoke grenade, or, you know, or, or like try to clip the power. Nope. <laughs> and we unlock the door again. Yes. If you look, there's a dead space, and you can almost see underneath the decking there. Uh, it comes down through there, and it's oh yeah, yeah, there it is. Underneath wow. the deck, there's conduits all underneath the reactors. There's like an eight-inch space where they just zigzag back and forth right into the crawl space here. <laughs> so the electric lines for the bunker are completely hidden. You can't trace the There's electric. no way to even crawl through that, right? No, there's no other way. So I guess a little animal could probably could. But that'd be another source of food. <laughs> well, the, uh, the only spot that an animal could get in, because if you look, like... The decking out here is actually level with the ground. The only yeah. space is like right there, and that's that's like a six inch space. Yeah, it's like, like a little rabbit or something can get in there. Maybe a rabbit, yeah. A rad roach. Come on hey, down. But, yeah. <laughs> like the, <laughs> the hot plate's ready. <laughs> actually, you know what? Actually, it serves as a good purpose because you know someone could like smoke you out on one side. At least you'd have some air. You could like. Well, the, those are some heavy duty vents. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of the vents, <laughs> ever wonder where the intake is? Yeah, I am wondering. <laughs> I can only imagine how much actual duct work you have to run for this, but it's like it's just part of the entrance way, right? <laughs> nope. It goes all the way over there. Oh my gosh! Imagine how much material I wasted running that duct work. Yeah, because they were trying to smoke you out here, but it was not even close. Yep. Holy crap! It comes yeah, from I really thought, far away. Well, I thought there was another one over there. I thought there was. I thought you had two little turbine, like little uh, exhaust over there. Yes. And, and there the should be one, right. Hidden behind the broken oh, wall, so you have right two. there. Yeah. So I guess uh, this would be the outtake, and the other one's the intake. Wow. <laughs> and in worst case scenario, it could outtake through that like little crawl space. <laughs> Notice that uh, there's some searchlights here to watch this back alleyway. Of course, Mr. Minuteman Soldier here is always watching. Plenty of chain link fences. No jumpers allowed. I mean. Forget the fact that the turrets shoot you the entire time. You get caught on the barbed wire and everything else, plus chain link. And then this is the other uh, guard tower on this side, yeah. which nice. overlooks my garden down below with the mortar. That's awesome. She's all dressed up for today. <laughs> yeah, I actually had death Gotta claws. keep looking nice for the general. <laughs> I had to death claws come over that hill and like attack this element, <laughs> but that rocket launcher killed them before they could even get to the walls. <laughs> and just for extra bedding, I have a little like uh, nap area for when the guard rotates during the night. You can like catch a, a quick nap before your next shift. Oh, nice, thoughtful of you. And uh, I had to rotate this door to get it to fit with the terrain, but it worked out kind of well. So it works sideways. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's, it's locked. <laughs> <laughs> but if you were to unlock it, it works. <laughs> not going to leave that, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, when the death claws can, like, open the doors. <laughs> yep, that's the uh, garden from down below. Look at that. He's even tending the garden right now. It's Mr. Farmer. Oh, yeah. oh it's the general. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving you the mice. Uh, and then I've got some extra quarters for the guards. Small, but still nice. Under so how many beds do you have in total? Uh, 15. Yeah. I love those god rays coming through my garden. You say you have 15 beds and then one more bed for you. Yes. Yeah. And I'm sure it's probably a, is it a twin, is it like a full size bed? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> of course, I'm the general. <laughs> we can go up in this guard tower right here and you can see down, uh, that's the road that we came in on. That is the Coastal Cottage Retreat. Oh my gosh. Wait, so that last little bridge that went over, did I miss that? That's, that we went from the um, the quarters to the women's restrooms. Over that oh, okay, bridge. that's what it was. I guess I yep. just didn't notice where I was. Okay. Yep. Man, that was awesome. It's all interconnected and all completely secure. Man, this was, this was really good, Dave. I, I, I got to give you a review on each time. So I would say, man, I mean... The Yerkoop Manor was amazing. Like, it was really, really cool. But I think I like my favorite... Gosh, every single time. I think <laughs> this is my favorite because I think I, I like anyone that's the smallest one. I like small. Yeah, yeah. But this was really... I like... <laughs> this was awesome. And an extra couple bonus points because 
you design it exactly how I know you in yeah. real life would <laughs> do yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like laid out the bunker first, uh, and then kind of made the stair here and the entranceway, and uh, everything else just came I just from noticed that. The fallout shelters. I, I did. I noticed it like self conscious, like uh, subconscious, subconscious, subconscious. subconscious. <laughs> like, oh no, I noticed subconscious. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, oh, it's in the game. Oh, wait, no, you placed it there. <laughs> of course. I know. It's actually a, a modded sign, too. Yeah, this is great. Yes. General, you left the bunker unlocked. <laughs> I think you feel pretty safe living here, Joel? Yeah, well, <laughs> I would feel safe being one of the guards. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't let me into your house. I think all that's left is to test our defenses. And I'm thinking, seeing we're in Deathclaw territory. Deathclaw. Deathclaws. <laughs> and you know what, Joel? Let's open the doors wide. Yeah, let's do Let's just see. If, if one of my dumb provisioners just left the door open, how would it do? I mean, worst case scenario, I'd run to the panic bunker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all screaming and hanging on the door. There's, like, there's blood, like, flowing oh down. This, there's blood. <laughs> This is blood like flowing down the bunker <laughs> stairs, like filling the basement. And, like, and you just stand up a little higher as the blood just drips on by, and um, you just pull out your pipe, smoking, and you're like, "Cause I'm the general. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get us some death claws going." <laughs> what we're going to do is leave the doors open down there, and we're going to spawn three. I believe it's the uh, the albino death claws, level seventy one, to attack my retreat at Coastal Cottage, which looks so beautiful from up here. Now, Death Clouds are pretty smart. Why don't you spawn one on each side? So you have to just do three of them and do one on each side of the place. Think so? Because uh, I mean, there's multiple ways into the place. Yeah, right? that's so true. Open all the doors. Woo! See if we can take an attack from all sides. I do have God Mode turned on, so I'm going to avoid fighting myself. I want to see if my settlers can take care of things, but just in case, I am the general. Let me just get the old laser musket cranked up here. <laughs> it look like you're cranking your musket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at my house, cranking my musket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's spawn one of you puppies. Let's actually do it like kind of over the hill, and they'll chase me back. How about that? Yeah, that sounds good. Do one back here. Whoop. We'll unlock nothing. <laughs> you are. Ugly. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! What's going on here? What's going on here? Ugh. Okay, that's new. I think I peed a little bit. <laughs> Have you seen that before? Yeah, I've, I've gotten eaten like that. I haven't died to a death call yet. I've come really close, but I, I haven't actually been killed. That probably would have killed you if, if you were. Uh... Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going in, Joel. Save me. <laughs> they're they're kind of taking it. Whoa! Can I get the door? Oh! Wait, oh. dude, your your gun is powerful. Well, I mean, he was pretty low on health. I thought you were saying, "Well, I am the general." <laughs> <laughs> well, I am the general. <laughs> Where's the other one over here? Oh, he just got vaporized <laughs> by one of my laser turrets. All right. Let's see, okay, well, they can't get in. What's a smaller thing that could get in? Dude, do a billion ghouls, just the ghouls. Okay. We're going to attempt, and we'll see if this crashes the game, 45 ghouls with the gates open. Whoa. Those are ghouls! Glowing <laughs> 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 behemoths! <laughs> it's behemoths! Glowing Oh my behemoths. gosh! Oh my gosh, I've never seen one of those guys in the game yet. But you haven't seen these guys yet? No, I haven't seen these guys. Oh, I feel, I feel a couple of them. They're actually quite scary and... Alright! <laughs> Dude, I wish this game had, like, uh, wall physics that you could actually break through. That would be amazing. What is happening? I can't move! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, they're throwing rocks at me! Alright, time to bring out my favorite weapon. It's called the Wrecking Ball. It's an explosive shotgun. Where did the Mire Alert come from? It's just, where did he come from? <laughs> Look at my XP. Oh my gosh. It's just like going and going. And, and you're going. like really high level, aren't you? 
I think I'm 80 something, yeah. <laughs> it's, so it's a carpet of bodies. There it goes. <laughs> Finally, it crashed. Let's do 45 ghouls, as originally intended. Oh, it's this ocean of them. Guys, help! Oh, that looks creepy. The aliens, the aliens are coming. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, they're like getting injured and like having to hobble around. This is more of a ghoul massacre than anything. Jeez. Oh, look, one hit me. See that we were soldiers, babe. <laughs> I feel like the general say, I'm the first to step off the ship and the last one to step back on. You're like in the <laughs> middle of the battle. Oh, he actually survived a hit there. Oh, we get in the gate? Come on in. Dude, oh, dude, dude, spawn a ton of them inside. Those are the explosive rounds from the turret. Okay. Holy! Let's just do so many freaking turrets. Just thirty. Like, okay, like, what did I get into? Protect the general. Here, I'm gonna look from upstairs. Oh! <laughs> let me in. Let me in. Close the door. <laughs> <laughs> look down the stairs. can watch in the conference room. <laughs> oh, it's bulletproof. I forgot. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, what's going on in there? What the heck? Some of my sailors are down in the workshop. <laughs> can you get on the top of that roof? Um, I can fly up there. But the general must rescue his men. God mode off. I see all the wood chips are <laughs> on the door. <laughs> that was awesome. Whoa! Oh, there goes the coke stand. You might die from your own explosion. Yeah, it's, so wait, it's not your place is not safe for you. <laughs> Dude, that sounds like you're done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I saved you all! <laughs> Great job, General. You came out right at the end, everyone believing. I, I Where got, were you? I killed one. Oh, wow. Look at all the bodies. <laughs> You're the kind of general that would kill the person inside the house who saw you shut the door, like, <laughs> run and hide. So there you have it, Joel. My coastal cottage escape is secure. <laughs> My goodness. That looks pretty nice from up here. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, dude. It's just funny how imposing it looks from the coast, but once you get in there, it's like this nice little, just, retreat. Yeah, that, jeez. So, new like, favorite, you think? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's my new favorite. It's just really, really cool, like, gosh. I mean, you, you could probably see, like, walking up on that in the... Yeah, like, I'd be like, oh, there. man, this town's gonna have a lot of cool little quests. <laughs> and, and it would totally have the, like, you know, you get the key at the end, like, what is this for? And you, like, find the underground bunker, like, oh, this is so cool! <laughs> It's crazy that you actually created this. Yeah, mostly piece by piece, by hand. Oh, totally forgot to mention, she's on the rooftop again, but <laughs> I added a chimney for the stove. <laughs> and extra solar power in the corner. For, uh, Wait, what's underneath that? Look, looks like there's stuff underneath the uh, solar power thing. Oh, it's the batteries. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> there's the batteries. Wow. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the Coastal Cottage Retreat. And there will be more. I can't stop, so I'll see you guys then. <laughs> Thanks for coming out again, Joel. Ow, man. <laughs> see you guys. See ya. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm like, I want these to continue, but I'm like, oh my gosh, Dave, I'm so scared for you.